Good morning everybody, uh, welcome along. Today is Friday the 18th of September. This is our Magical Movements session again. Um, dead on 11 o'clock, I thought I was a little bit late, I got caught in a conversation in the corridor, I do apologise. But dead on um, the time that we want as far as our Magical Movements is concerned. So here we find ourselves again, uh, another opportunity for us to uh, consider movement that we do on a daily basis and look at that movement and how we can um, incorporate that into um, flexibility and mobility for us as well. The whole idea of this session is to um, think about the movement of the body, build strength, build tone uh, and build and work on our balance and our stability. So hopefully you find this really useful. Uh, drop us some comments um, as you get started, as you start looking at this. Uh, and if you're watching this on catch up as well, so if you're watching it later on, just drop us a little comment to let us know you've been in and you've seen it. Um, it's always good to know that um, you'll find it useful or not, or give us your feedback on, on, on what you'd like to see in there. As always, I've got a chair, so we'll do some seated options for you as well. Um, and with anything that we do, it's always important that we warm ourselves up firstly and then we cool ourselves down a little bit afterwards. And obviously because this is a, a bit of a free-flowing and a, a, a gentle movement session, we don't need to go too hard as far as our, our um, warm is concerned. It's more going to be about mobility and mobilising the joints that we're going to use. So. If you are ready to get started, have a chair available if you need one, have some refreshments available as well so you can take a drink, grab a drink of water uh, if you need one, stop at any point you need to, just have a little bit of a movement of those feet if you do stop so we keep the circulation uh, going round as well. Hopefully you can hear me nice and clear, I've got some music on in the background as well just to, to give us a bit of a calming feeling. Okay, so. First things first, let's get ourselves um, mobilised and warmed up. So if we're in a standing position, what I want you to do is to bring your knees in line with your hips and your uh, heels as well. Imagine a balloon between your ribs and your hips. Give it a couple of extra puffs of air into there to lift your ribs away from your, your hips. So grow a couple of extra inches in this area. We're lifting the shoulders up, take them back, bring the shoulder blades together and press down. So we lengthen across the top of the back we open up the chest at the front. In our seated position, we're going to bring ourselves into the front third of the chair. So a hip walk into the front third of the chair. Once we're sat there, again, our knees are in line with our heels and in line with our hips. We grow this extra couple of inches between our ribs and our hips, and we lift the shoulders up, bringing the shoulder blades back together and pressing down. So we've got this open chest here as well. Last thing I want you to do is lengthen through the, the upper part of your body, through the neck. So lift the, the neck tall, lengthen through your, your neck for me. Okay, let's start with a little bit of a foot movement. What I want you to do is just bring yourself up onto your toes. So alternating the feet, just pedaling with the, the, the feet so that you're bringing the heel off the floor and then lowering it back down in. Now in your seated position, exactly the same as well. Just lifting so we get some movement into those ankles, some movement into those knees, and some movement into those hips. Yeah? As you're doing that, take a deep breath in for me. And out. And again, breathing in. And out. Lovely job. Just hold it there for a second. Let's focus into our shoulders. So lift the shoulders towards the ears and then press them back down. Lifting and pressing. So we're lengthening as we raise up through the back and then we're pressing back down to lengthen across the top of the shoulders. Have a little pause there after you've done three, four or five of those and let's focus into a rotational movement as far as our shoulder is concerned. So we're going to bring it forward. Lift it towards the ears, roll it back, shoulder blades together and press down. Again, going forward, rolling back and pressing down. Focusing on that movement so we feel every part of the shoulder joint mobilising with those controlled movements. Lifting, rolling back and pressing. 
pressing down. Now, if you feel you have less mobility on one side than the other, then you may want to focus into that side, just give it a few little extra rolls into that shoulder joint. Take a pause there for me. Let's come back down to those feet and let's pedal those feet. Again, same in our seated position. Okay, I want to focus onto our head now. Um, and what we're going to do is just tuck the chin back in. So let me come sideways so you can see this movement. If you look at the back of your neck or feel the back of your neck, there's a little bump there where the head sits forward. So, what we're going to do is straighten that out. If I place my fingers onto my chin, and press back, keeping the eye line level, we get um, a double chin or a lockdown chin here at the front. Now you can either press it back or you can leave the fingers where they are and bring the head back. <coughs> Choice is yours. Okay, but from the front, the front, you see very little movement at all. But as you notice from the side, you can see that we're stacking the head back on. Excuse me one second. <coughs> So we're stacking that neck joint back onto the head. <clears throat> Once you've done that, come back in, take your feet a little bit wider, and just give me a shift of weight from side to side. Now when you shift this weight from side to side, think about the movement and experience that movement down through your knees. <coughs> Excuse me. So our knees they're going to come no further out than the side of our feet as we shift across from one side to the other. Just shifting that weight across from side to side. Now in our seated position we have exactly the same movement but what we're going to do is we're going to focus through our bottom. So we're sitting tall and the shift of weight goes from one side to the other. Shifting across and coming back into the center. Shifting the body, we're trying to keep the upper body quite straight, so we focus into the hip movement here. <clears throat> Working through that, so we're mobilizing through our hips. We should feel a lengthening of the muscles between thighs as we do that. From there, we'll take a pause, come back in, Heels just outside our hips, we've got a good base of support to work from. Take your hands in front and twist the trunk to the side. Back in and then across to the other way. Now I want you to try and focus onto your hips staying locked. So it's just the upper body that's moving. Now if you feel your hips are moving, what you can do is put yourself against a wall Stand away from the wall a little bit so your bottom is touching and as you turn, if you feel the bottom lifting off that wall on one side, you know that you have a movement in your hips. Likewise in your seated position, as you come across to the side, if you feel the bottom lifting, you know <clears throat> that we have a movement in those hips. You want to focus on the hips staying still. From there, take a pause and let's come down towards the side. Just loosening through this trunk. Now the trunk plays an important part in our everyday life. It helps us balance, it helps us stay strong and stable throughout the day. So this movement just down to the side and back up. And if you have a look from the side, the movement is straight down and straight up. So don't let your body come forward or backwards. In our seated position, then again, we can utilize the legs of the chair if we want as a guide to come down and up. Pausing in the center before we change to the other side, lowering those legs down, lowering those arms down towards the knee, and then back up. And then take a pause there for me. Come back here and I want to sink the feet diagonally now, shift your weight forward and back. So we're shifting that weight onto the front foot and onto the back foot. Again, just part of warming that body up, getting that movement started into our legs, into our hips, our knees. Lovely. 
take a pause there for me and let's come down and just focus onto our feet. So utilise our feet a lot as far as our balance is concerned. Our ankles are constantly changing in how they're touching the floor, how they're moving to ensure we have stability and balance. So taking up some support if you need it. Place your toe onto the floor, lift and place your heel in the same place. Now first couple of times you may want to take a look and then try and take your eye line to the front. So we're focusing into that foot movement. In our seated position, then what we're going to do is extend the foot away, extend the toes away, and then bring the toes in towards the shin. So point and flex. Point away, flex the foot in. So we work through that ankle joint. Once you've done one side, change to the other side, and again, point and flex. So pointing and then flexing. Now this putting the heel into the same place allows for that flex of the ankle joint. As I said, our ankles play such an important part in our stability in everyday life. So as we're walking down the street, we're making direction, directional changes. If we decide we suddenly want to go this way, we turn, and the ankle plays a part in that. And even pavements, we're having to make adjustments into our ankles. So really important that you build not only their mobility, but also their strength and their flexibility. Okay, let's take a pause there, come back in, and let's just have that little foot pedal. All right, let's move in to our first movement for today. I guess play with the arms firstly. So, with your arms, down by the side, we're gonna let the arms float up towards our shoulders, bring them back in towards us, and then float back down. So there's no press like we've done previously. We're floating up, bringing the hands back in, and letting them float back down. So here we've got movement through our shoulders. We've got that rotation as we bring our hands back in towards us. We've got movement through our wrists as the hands float up, the fingers point down, and as we come back in, lower, the position of the wrists change so that we've got that good movement through our wrists as well. And your wrists play such an important part as far as um, opening cans, turning taps, opening jars, all those sorts of activities will utilise your wrist. Doing the washing everything. Now our wrist is one of our most important parts as far as our falling mechanism. If we lose our balance or we do fall, we tend to put our hands out to support ourselves. So building strength and building flexibility in those wrists helps us to make sure that we stay strong. There's our first movement, floating up, coming back in and down. Take a pause there for a second and let's have a look at our second movement. Now exactly the same in our seated position that first movement. Our second position is here. Imagine you have a ball, one hand facing towards the ceiling, other hand facing away. First thing we're going to do is push against that. So imagine you're pushing against a ball, and then I want you to reposition your hands so both are facing away from you, and resist back in as you come towards you. Push away again, and then resist back in. So as you push, have a look at my arms. So as I push, can you see the muscle tone coming in there? And as I resist, you can see that there's some work going on within there. So I'm not just pushing and coming back. Imagine you're pushing against something, then resist against it as it comes back in. So create your own tension within your body. As you push and resist. Okay, so let's put those two parts of our arm movements together. We have a float up, back in and float down. We do one more of those. Back in and down. From here we create the ball, the sphere, and we push it away and then we resist against it. We've got a turn of the body as well, can you see that? Back in, towards the front and we come back down. We then take it the other way. So we have the float, come back in, float down, float up, in and float down. Create your sphere, push away, 
hands flat on and resist against, yeah? Push away and resist against. Have another go at that one. In your seated position, exactly the same look. What we can do if we want here, is just brush your hands along your legs firstly. As you create that motion. Here, our sphere. We turn the body and we push. Hands and resist. Push, resist, and bring yourself back into the centre. From the top, float. Hands back in and float down. Float up. Arms back in towards you and float down. Create that sphere. Turn, push, resist. Push and resist. There is our arm movements. Store that away for a second. Let's have a look at our legs. So, with our legs, first things first, we have a bend of the knee and a raise. Yeah? So, little bend of the knee look. Staying tall within the upper body, just pushing the bottom out. So, not bending from our hips at all. We've got a little bottom pointing out, or in my case, big bottom, pointing out, it's a little small knee bend. Yeah, in our seated position, then what you're going to do is lift onto your toes and lower. So we still get this movement within our knees and within our uh, hip flexors right at the very top. Yeah, that's our first movement. So we've got the knee bend and the raise. Knees staying soft at the top, Coming down and raising up. Our second movement, standing position, support available if you want it. Toe comes in and then steps away. Heel toe. We shift the weight onto the back foot. We shift the weight onto the front foot. We shift onto the back, onto the front, and then as we come back, we bring that foot in toe heel down. We've then got that movement again coming the other way. So it's putting it together here, look, just to show you. There's your two knee bends. As I come out the second one, I'm here. I step away, sinking back. Shifting the weight forward, shifting the weight back, shifting forward, and then as I come back here, I lift with the toe down first onto the floor. That movement when you step away is a diagonal step forward. So we're not stepping to the side, look. It's not here, it's here. Slightly diagonal, all right? Let me just have a look at that in seated for you. So in our seated position, what we're going to do, we've got this toe lift, or this heel lift, sorry, this heel lift. On the second heel lift, you keep one foot lifted. You take it out, heel toe. Shifting the weight onto the bottom on this side, shifting forward, shifting weight again, forward, and as you come back, you step back in. You then go the other way around, so heel lift, heel lift, keeping this knee up this time, stepping it out, shifting the weight here, forward, back, okay? So let's try that through one time each way. So we have a knee bend and a raise. A knee bend, and as we raise up, we bring the toe in. We step away, and there's that shift of weight there, look, can you see? Come forward, come back, come forward, and back. Stepping in and holding there. We then take it the other way. Knee bend and a knee bend, tap the toe, step out, shift the weight forward, shift the weight back, shift the weight forward, and step back in. Pausing there for me. Okay, take a little pause there. Have a bit of a refreshment, get yourself a drink, and uh, let's get ourselves ready to go with our other movement for today.
So what we're going to do is just put those two together. All right. So from here, we have our knee bend and float, coming back and pressing down. Knee bend, float, come back in and step, step out, push away. Resist against, push away, resist against and step back in. Knee bend, in and float down. Again, okay, knee bend in, back in towards you, floating down. We've got the step and the push away. Here's your ball, pushing away, resisting against, pushing away and resisting against, stepping back in. From there, take a deep breath in. Breathe in and out. Lovely job. Okay, we're going to step forward. Just come onto our toes. Step back and come back in. Again, step forward onto our toes. So our heel firstly, onto our toes at the back and step back in. Front foot, heel down. Come onto your toes at the back. Come back in. And return. One more time. Step back in. Have a little pedal of those feet. Just keep those feet movement going for me. Feel that movement through your ankles. Feel that movement through your joints. Take a pause. Start to cool things down. So sway from side to side, just shifting that weight from side to side. Take a deep breath in and out. Breathing in and out. Okay, if we get changes, breathe. So we're going to focus into it now. Breathing in and breathing out. So we raise the arms up as we breathe in, and then we press down as we breathe out. Breathing in, and breathing out. Feeling that breath coming in and out. I want you to feel your chest opening. Increase the range within that chest cavity, so that we open the chest up. Feel how that movement feels within your chest. We've lengthened through our body. We've opened up between our ribs and our hips by sitting and standing tall. Let the extra capacity fill with air. Let's focus on some slow, rhythmic breathing. So in standing or seated, breathe in. Really fill the lungs, breathing in through your nose, and then as you push down, breathe out. And as you breathe out, I want you to purse your lips. So breathing in. Breathing out. Breathe in. And out. Again, breathe in. And out. Okay, from there, just shift that weight from side to side in your seated position. Just shift your weight from bottom to bottom, buttock to buttock, even, not bottom to bottom. We've only got one bottom. Two buttocks, one bottom. Just shifting that weight. Feeling the movement through our ankle joints. Feeling the movement through our hips. I want to put a little rotation in there as well. So we're going to bring the arm across a figure of eight. Across a figure of eight. Still just got that movement from side to side as far as our hips are concerned. And change to your other hand. Work at your own speed as far as this is concerned. So we're working across the body, hand towards the ceiling, hand towards the floor. Now if you feel comfortable with it, both hands together. And as you do this, focus on that breathing again still. So breathing in and out. Breathing in.
slow the movement right down, breathing in, breathing out at the same pace, but slowing this movement down So we come into the centre. Holding it there, lift your shoulders up, take them back, together, and down. Last two deep breaths, breathing in, and out. And just take the hands to where you feel comfortable. Okay, breathing in, come halfway down, bring the arms to the front, bring them in towards you, and release out and push away. From there, have a little roll of those shoulders, have a little heel lift, just to get yourself moving through that body again. There we go. Some movements just for you to consider as far as mobilising the body is concerned and activating the body. I will see you real soon. Take care everybody. Bye bye.